Hola a todos, or should I say Casio? Because I am not in Spain. Um, I am in probably, of everywhere I've been in the world, probably one of my favorite parts of the world, uh, which is a country called Euskalheria, otherwise known to most of us as the Basque country. Um, which forms a semi-autonomous um, region of uh, northern Spain and, uh, and, and France, crossing the Pyrenees. Now, I first came here probably in the region of 20 years ago. Uh, yeah, it would have been probably in the region of 20 years ago or so. Um, and I was passing through uh, on the way to Portugal and on the way back. Um, and I just I love this country so much. This is this is where I want to be This is where I want to settle down if I ever did so um, Because there's a spirit of the Basque people that is just it's so rebellious and it is so um, Sort of fervently independent um, I just I love it. It's it's my my spiritual and political home um, <laughs> Yeah, I absolutely love it here. So I'm here for work just for a couple of days. Um, and uh, I did tell you I'd bring you a video from up here uh, from when I got over. So uh, yesterday it was around about 36 uh, to 38 degrees. Um, it was probably around 100 degrees in old money. And it was hot. It was really hot. It was too hot for me to do very much as a pasty Englishman. Um, so I kind of spent the day loafing around drinking cold beers uh, and generally just trying to stay in the shade. But today I thought I'd come out to the mountains, uh, which are maybe 30, 40 minutes south of where I'm staying, just outside of Bilbao in Mungia. Um, and so I've come up to, uh, uh, to the mountains just outside of Durango. Um, now, you're not going to see it because it's a misty day. I have picked the mistiest, the only misty day. And the only day where we're having rain throughout the period that I'm here. Uh, but uh, the view behind me apparently is spectacular when there's not all this cloud in the way. Now you guys can't really see it unfortunately, but I can make out, uh, you know, as, the, as some of the clouds pass, I can make out some absolutely just incredible breathtaking mountains. Just, just wonderful. Um, and it's easy when you live in Britain, as I do, um, to forget just what proper mountains are. <laughs> But I've been driving past these guys for the last couple of days, running from where I'm staying in Mungia, just outside Bilbao, to uh, the town of Guernica, um, which is, of course, made famous by Picasso, um, because in 1936, 37, it was bombed by the Luftwaffe uh, under the orders of General Franco. So, uh, yeah, it was bombed by the Nazis, um, even before the onset of the, the Second World War. If I remember, if I remember the date correctly, please forgive me for getting it wrong. I think it's the 26th of April, 30, uh, 36, 37. Uh, I should have done a bit more research before doing this video, but there you go. And uh, yeah, and I'd been, I'd been driving past these, you know, uh, motorways, uh, down the motorway past these mountains, thinking I've got to go, I've got to go and explore those a bit. So I've come up today and, uh, you know, this is, this is what the view is like <laughs> from, from halfway up them. But it's, it's stunning countryside. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful landscape, uh, beautiful people. Um, and, uh, and if you make the effort just to, to say a couple of little words in uh, the Basque language, Euskara, uh, then, uh, then really you'll make a lot of friends. Um, you know, it's, Interesting thing about the Basque language, let me turn around because I'm, I'm in the shade there. The interesting thing about the, the Basque language is it's actually the oldest language in Europe. And, uh, and it's still a mystery to us. Nobody really knows, linguists don't know um, where it comes from. It, it's not related, uh, as far as we know, to any other European language. So, you know, this isn't just a case of uh, Basque people being a little bit shirty and wanting independence from Spain, France or whatever. Um, because of you know some sort of uh, some sort of squabble, uh, it, it genuinely is. They are the Basque people are genuinely an entirely different 
um, different group of people altogether with an entirely different language that's not remotely related to Spanish or French or anything else that we speak in Europe. Um, and it, it's just wonderful. Uh, the, the sort of sense of independence and, um, yeah, the, the fierce independence is just something I admire and I respect so, so much. So tomorrow, no, not tomorrow, tomorrow I've got a job to do. So that's what I'm here for, to go and do my job. But the following day, I've got a day to kill, um, which uh, for which I'm going to go to Bilbao. I have booked myself a sitting at a tattoo artist. So I'm going to get a new tattoo done um, and carry a little piece of the Basque Country with me uh, until the next time I come back here. <laughs> but I love the, I, I really do. I love the place so much. It's, um, you know, the people are just fantastic. And, you know, when you get to speaking to them, it's, you know, easy to see that they're just not Spanish or French. Um, you know, they really are. They're very, very much their own people. And I love it. I absolutely love it. Plus, uh, the Basque Country is also the home of the uh, Confederación Nacional de Trabajo, which is the uh, CNT, the Workers' Organization, Anarchist Organization, um, which uh, is very dear to me. Um, and uh, some of the people who were fighting Franco during the uh, Spanish Civil War. Um, so I have a, a, a tattoo on my chest right there um, from the CNT uh, to mark my solidarity with them. So there you go. I am in my political and spiritual homeland here. I love it. I love it. And if I won a lottery tomorrow, I would come and live here in a heartbeat. But... Uh, there's a little bit of cloud clearing behind me. You may be able, you probably won't because of the nature of uh, the fact that I'm on my phone camera, but you can see there's some of the mountains behind me. They're just absolutely spectacular. Love it. <laughs> and the food here is amazing. Um, food here is uh, very well known. The Basque Country has actually become very famous for its food, um, which, is, uh, yeah, which is a good thing, but, um, but uh, it could be famous for many, many things besides um this wild nature that that's up here in the mountains just just being one of them <laughs> uh rugged wild coastline um beautiful huge mountains uh and beautiful mountain ranges uh wonderful biodiversity great forests wonderful food i may have already said that fantastic fierce independent people what is not to love about this country yeah so i'm in my happy place right now um, and i thought i'd bring you a little video from here because uh, i did say i would so last week for work i was in the czech republic i was going to bring you a video from the czech republic but uh very different from slovakia where i was uh recently as well in so much as it all seems to be pretty much farmland um, and I couldn't find anywhere between where I was staying and the airport to, um, that was suitable uh, for me to stop and do a video. So apologies I didn't bring you a video from the Czech Republic. But that's okay, because we've got this. We've got this. Look at it. Fantastic. <laughs> God, yeah. Um, yeah, so that's it, really. Um, I hope you folks are all doing very well. Um, I may, uh, I may stitch onto this video at a later date a little bit more footage if I come across any. Kind of depends on how the uh, how the cloud goes. But uh, yeah, welcome to the Basque Country, anyway. Euskal um, Herria, and I'm afraid that's uh, pretty much other than uh, Escaragesco, which means thank you, and Kaishu and Agur, which means goodbye. Uh, that's pretty much the extent of my knowledge of the Basque language, unfortunately. So, uh, so that's about all you're getting from me. <laughs> anyway, you folks take care and I'll catch you all again soon. Have a good one. Agord.